Hey, what's up guys? We're getting ready to head over to Tampa, Florida, and it's going to be a weekend trip. I got myself a hotel room. We're going to hang out for the weekend and actually enjoy a road trip and actually enjoy a mini vacation leaving Friday and coming back on Saturday night. So it's going to be like a 24 hour in and out kind of a trip. But these are the first kinds of trips that I'm doing in 2021. The next time I'll be in Tampa should be around August 7th when I go see Corn Stained and Fire from the God. But sit back and relax because this is a travel vlog and your boy is back with another video baby. I'm still surprised that there's still some restaurants that are still not allowing people in because I went to the Wendy's to use the restroom because like like I said if you're on like a four hour road trip you need to use the bathroom and I went to open the door and the door was locked I'm like really there's still restaurants that are not open so I had to go to uh, the Dunkin Donuts over there to allow me to use the restroom because that one said nobody in the lobby just uh, drive through and I'm like I'm not dr I, I need to use the restroom that's all I need to use and I'll say it again Tampa Florida why you gotta be so humid it's so hot out here That's how hot it is, and we're walking around. Fucking hottest day of the year. Oh my god. But we are out here at the Riverwalk in Tampa. Oh, your boy is sunburned. But we are out here in downtown Tampa. And we just got uh, Greek. It's called Hungry Greek down here in. Tampa, Florida, and it's actually really not that bad. Um, it's kind of like those typical, like, like they just throw the food together. It's nothing super flavorful or really bad. It's just what you get, what you see is what you get. But uh, this is actually the first time I've actually been in the downtown area, and it's actually not that bad. It does feel like an actual city compared to, like, Jacksonville. But uh, like I said, uh, I could tell when I went in the bathroom, my face is sunburned, so... Next time I go out anywhere, I'm putting some sunscreen on because I don't want to get burned up and toasted up. But, uh, <clears throat> like I said, going to a city where people know where to go and what to do is a lot more fun and exciting than trying to support yourself, going places you don't know or a side of town that you've never been. But, like I said, we're down here. I literally can't believe the gas prices in Tampa. That's like 25 cents more than what I pay in Jacksonville. Look at that crazy news. That's my view. Here's the hotel room, the big king size bed, the couch, table, TV, the bed on deck. Oh, so we're back in the hotel room. We're about to grub. It is like 11 o'clock at night. This is my first time actually eating dinner. And you can see how sunburned I am actually on this camera. But um, tomorrow I might go hang out with my friend because I'm only here for a uh, 24 hours here in Tampa because I gotta leave at uh, 11 in the morning at least leave the hotel room and she's got to be in bed by 12 so she can get up by 5 so she can get ready for work because uh, she works overnight so I might take you guys downtown or I might just head back and now I can definitely tell right up here I got really sunburned 
I love to share my experiences with you guys when I travel. And I think that's the best time to actually make a creative video is when you're out and about doing something. That's why I was like, hey, I can vlog a little bit. Even if I have to throw everything into one video, I'll do that just to make it uh, a longer video for you guys. Because I like to make at least a 10 minute vlog. But, like I said, I'm going to eat and then probably hop in bed.